right, next up we have Kenton Varda, uh, author of Protocol Buffers and Captain Proto. Uh, and today he's going to be telling you about Sandstorm.io. Uh, what if users owned the servers? OK, so I'm going to talk uh, pretty quickly here and show you something that uh, is just started working a couple of days ago, and only like three people have seen it so far. And it's pretty hacky, but hopefully it won't uh, totally fail on me. So what we're looking at here is you probably recognize as the uh, Meteor demo uh, to-dos app. Um, so let's say we don't know what this is. And I'm browsing around the internet, and I come across this. And uh, I want to use it. I like it. Uh, I actually want to use this to organize my to-dos. Well, I can't. There's a few problems. Um, so if I don't know the developer, and, uh, or I don't trust the developer, then I don't really know if they might be spying on my data or passing it along to the NSA. Or uh, I don't know if this app is going to disappear tomorrow and I'm going to lose everything. And I don't know if it might have security bugs that mean that people are going to be able to hack into it and mess with my data. In fact, in this case, this app appears to have no security whatsoever. So that's a pretty big bug. Um, <laughs> So uh, what I'd really like to do is be able to install an instance of this app to a machine that I control, uh, that only I can access, that can protect me from these things. And as it turns out, uh, this particular app lets me do this by providing this link here to uh, install me on Sandstorm. So I'm going to click on that. Now it's going to start downloading the, the package. So now what you're looking at is my personal Sandstorm instance. Um, and this, uh, the UI is written in Meteor. It's, uh, of course, uh, on top of uh, a lot of other stuff under the hood. But um, Meteor made it really easy to develop. Um, so what, what we have here is up here I have sort of a start menu-ish thing that looks really ugly because I'm not a designer. Um, these things here are documents that I created with a different app that I already have installed. And I could uh, potentially create a new such document here. Uh, but I'm not going to do that right now because I really want to um, use this to-dos app. And since it's downloading pretty slowly, I'm going to cheat and just download it locally here. Cancel, try again. OK. Um, <laughs> and uh, confirm that I do want to install this. OK. Um, now if I go in here again, I have the ability to create a new to-do list. And when I click on that, I'm going to give it a title. And now um, it is launching a new instance of this server um, on my, my Sandstorm server. So, um, so this is obviously, uh, well, it's a fresh database, so it's populated with the example data that this example comes with. But I'm just going to make some changes. And then I'm actually going to create another to-do list, uh, to-do two. And the interesting thing here is that each of these instances that I'm creating here is running in a separate server-side uh, secure sandbox that prevents it from talking to the rest of the world, uh, unless I give it um, and so the app actually cannot uh, spy on me or uh, talk to the developer or uh, disappear because it's running on my own hardware. And I'm just about out of time. So <laughs> that's about all I can show you. Um, so if you're interested in developing for this or using it, uh, check out sandstorm.io. It's all open source. Uh, there's some mailing lists to sign up to. Um, any questions? Uh, me? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so who's handling security on this? Uh, I mean, what do you mean? <laughs> well, no, you can run this. You can run, I mean, it's open source. You can run your own instance. Um, the, the technology under the hood is, um, the, the same uh, Linux containerization technology that underlies, say, Docker and LXC, but I'm, I'm using the kernel features directly. Um, and then uh, client side is not actually sandboxed yet, but in the future it will be using HTML5 sandboxing and content security policy. Say it again. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, so it's, so the, the question is, what kind of apps can you put on here? Is it restricted to Meteor? And the answer is no. Um, it is a native code sandbox. So anything that runs on Linux, any tech stack that runs on Linux can potentially be ported into here. Um, for instance, uh, I have 
these documents here that aren't. So this is, this is an example of Etherpad, which is not a Meteor app. It was uh, originally written by someone who now works at Meteor, but um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so how, how uh, what if you want a collaborative app? Yes, so um, I don't have those features yet, but one interesting thing about this platform is that the platform itself can handle sharing. So the app doesn't have to know anything about how to authenticate multiple users, and that can all go into the platform UI, you know, this top bar here, you can have like a share button and Any right. other questions? All right. Cool. Thanks.